Hello everyone, I am Chirag and welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to take you through how to automate tasks via Amazon Pinpoint. So basically, Amazon Pinpoint is a flexible and scalable outbound and inbound marketing communication service where you can connect with your customers over channels like email, SMS, push message, voice or basically in-app messaging. So guys, I have been exploring Amazon Pinpoint for a while and came across this wonderful feature that is two-way SMS support where a user can send an SMS to communicate with the AWS service. So for example, uh, in the banking sector, the two-way SMS feature is leveraged for mobile number verification during app download. So with the two-way SMS feature, one can automate a number of tasks using Amazon Pinpoint and other services. So for a two-way SMS feature to work in the AWS environment, you have to request the long codes or maybe short codes depending on your location. So long codes are basically phone numbers or a virtual numbers which are different for different countries. And to utilize long code, you need to create the support request for the dedicated long codes. So the very first thing that you have to do is navigate to AWS Management Console and click on this icon and click on Support Center. And here you need to create a case saying that you want a service limit increase and within limit type you have to search for pinpoint that is pinpoint sms and you have to fill in this details and within request you have to select the particular region from which you are going to send the sms so here in my case i will say us list and resource type would be dedicated sms long codes and within limit we will say transactional and the new limit value could be anything so here i will say one okay and once you submit this case and once this gets approved, you can move on with the next steps. Okay, so this is how you can request long codes within your AWS environment via support case. Now as a next step, I will take you through this diagram that we are going to follow throughout this video for performing some sort of automation. So here, let's say there is a demo EC2 instance that you do not require all the time and it is required by the salesperson or any non-technical person for the demonstration purpose. So for the purpose of this tutorial video, we are going to mimic that automation where we will start and stop the EC2 instance on demand via SMS. And it will also send the endpoint information to the defined recipients, okay? So here uh, we are going to send the SMS that will communicate or we will send that SMS to the Amazon Pinpoint. Okay, and this Amazon Pinpoint will pass on the payload to the Amazon SNS topic. Okay, which will in turn trigger the Lambda function. And now this Lambda function is responsible for performing the automation task. And this Lambda function will basically start or stop the instance based on the payload that Lambda function have received. And after that, it's going to send the notification email to the defined recipients. Okay, so this is the flow that we are going to follow throughout this video. So here, basically, we are uh, automating the start and stop of the EC2 instance, but there are different automation that you might want to perform. You might want to have IoT in place and perform some sort of automation, right? So that is up to you. But for the purpose of this tutorial video, we are going to uh, automate the start and stop of the EC2 instance. And then we are going to send the public DNS information or so to say the URL to the specific users. And then they can use that public DNS or the URL to perform the demonstration. So here I have already created the demo instance, which is in the stop state. And I have also configured and verified the email address to which I want to send the information about public DNS. Okay, so demo instance and Amazon SES has been configured already. So all that we need to do as a part of this video is that we are going to configure this Lambda function. We are going to create a SNS topic and then we are going to configure Amazon Pinpoint. Okay, so let's navigate to AWS Management Console and search for Lambda and navigate to Lambda Management Console. Now here we are going to create a new Lambda function. So click on create function and give the name. I would say EC2 automation and I will select runtime as Python 3.9 and within permissions I will select the first option that is create a new role with the basic lambda permission and then we are going to click on create function. Now here we have successfully created the AWS lambda function. Now as a next step we are going to configure or add permission. So click on configuration and click on permissions from the left panel and click on this role name. 
So here we will require uh, two permission that is permission for the two services that is EC2 and the SES. It's because here this lambda function is going to interact with the demo instance that is the EC2 instance and then it's going to interact with the Amazon SES service. Okay, so that's the reason we need to add the permission for both the services so that this lambda function can access and interact with those services. Okay, so let's go back to the IAM management console and click on add permission and say attach policies. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to attach full access that is EC2 full access and then I'm going to search for Amazon SES. And I'm going to select Amazon SES full access. But it's always a good idea to create the custom policy and then attach that policy uh, to this IAM role. And it's a good practice. And then I'm going to click on attach policies. So here we have successfully configured the permission for this Lambda function. So let me close this. Now as a next step, we are going to click on code. Now as a next step, we are going to click on general configuration and then we are going to click on edit and we are going to increase the timeout to one minute and say save. Now as a next step, we are going to click on code and here within this lambda function, we are going to write the automation logic to start and stop the EC2 instance based on certain parameters and then uh, send the notification email to the defined users. So here I have already pushed the automation code that I want to use to the GitHub repository as you can see on my screen. So I am going to copy this code from here. So I will say copy and paste it over here. And then I will say deploy. So basically this code is kind of responsible to start and stop the EC2 instances based on the certain parameters or the payload that it will receive from the SNS topic. And then it's going to notify the desired users that we will define in some time. Okay, so here I have this helper function to notify the recipients, right? So it's going to send an email notification to the particular users. And then here we have the uh, get public DNS function, which is responsible for fetching the public DNS or the URL of the particular EC2 instance that we will start based on the certain parameters. And finally, here we have the lambda underscore handler function. So basically, this is the automation that I want to perform. But in your case, it could be any other automation that you want to perform. So feel free to modify this lambda function as per your requirement. Okay, now. In order to utilize this code, I have to set two environment variables that is instance ID and the email information. Okay, so I will click on configuration here and click on environment variables from the left panel. And then I will say add it and say add environment variable. I'm going to say instance IDs and it's going to be, let me copy and paste the instance ID. So I will search for EC2. And here I already have one instance which is in the stop state and within that instance I am running the nginx server just for the demo purpose. So I am going to select this and copy the instance id. And here within environment variable I am going to define a list. Okay. And here I will paste the instance id. And the second environment variable that I have to set is email ids or the email information. So to whom I want to send this information. So that is something that I have to uh, define as a part of the environment variable. And here I'm going to define a dictionary saying source. So from which email address you want to send this email. So I will simply say it's my email shiragar83 at gmail.com. And then I want to define the uh, recipients. So I will define another key saying recipients. And then I will define a list as a value. But for now, I am only going to define one email address. But you can have more than one email address within this list. So here we have successfully configured the environment variable. So I'm going to save this. Now as a next step, we are going to create the SNS topic. So let's go back to AWS management console and search for SNS. And here we are going to click on topics from the left panel and say create topic. And here I will select standard as a type of the SNS topic and here we need to define or give the name of the topic. So I would say EC2 automation topic. Okay. And then I will leave rest of the option as it is and click on create topic.
now once the topic is created we are going to create the subscription so let's click on create subscription and here uh, within protocol we are going to select aws lambda but apart from aws lambda you can select any other uh, service that you want which you might want to consider for the automation so it could be amazon sqs or it could be email or you want to you know basically invoke some sort of http endpoint right so you can basically select as per your requirement but in this case i'm going to select aws lambda and here i need to copy and paste the arn of the lambda function so i will go back to the lambda function and copy this function arn and paste it over here and then we are going to click on create subscription now here we have successfully subscribed the lambda function to the sns topic now as a next step we are going to configure or create a project within amazon pinpoint so let's go back to the aws management console and search for pinpoint and here we need to provide the project name so i would say ec2 automation i will say pinpoint and say create a project now here we have successfully created the amazon pinpoint project now is the next step we need to click on this configure under sms and voice so click on that and here uh, you need to make sure that you check this box that is enable the sms channel for this project and within default message type we will select transactional okay and you can also optionally define the account sender id and then you need to make sure that you have correct account spending limit mentioned over here okay and then click on save changes now as a next step from the left panel you need to expand the settings and then click on sms and voice and scroll down to phone numbers and once you are there click on request phone number and here you need to select the country as per your location so here for the purpose of this video i will select canada and then i will select transactional as the default message type and then you need to make sure that whichever country you select has sms channel as enabled okay so here as you can see the sms channel is enabled and once you confirm that click on next and finally you can review it and then click on request now as soon as you click on request you may or may not be able to see the phone number under number settings because in some cases it might take some time to allocate the phone number okay but in this case it was instant so here we have this number okay now once you see the number under number settings click on that number and here we need to configure the two-way sms feature so once you click on that scroll down to expand this two-way sms and then check this box saying enable two-way sms now once you check this it will ask you to configure the incoming message destination so here we have already created the sns topic so we are going to select the second option and search for the sns topic that you have created so in my case i have created this ec2 automation hyphen topic now here you can optionally configure two-way sms keywords so here i am going to configure two keywords it's because if you look at my automation code over here so here i have two conditions right so it says basically if body is double equal to start underscore demo so i'm going to configure a one keyword as start underscore demo and another keyword as stop underscore demo so on the basis of this keywords it's going to start and stop the instance and perform the uh, specified automation under each condition okay so that's the reason i'm going to configure this keyword so i'm going to say add another keyword and here i will say start underscore demo and here you can define the automated response that you want to send back to the user whoever is uh, doing the sms okay so here i will say thanks for the sms or i will say thanks for the message the demo instance is being started check your email or more information and then i'm going to say add another keyword which will say stop underscore demo and i'm going to copy this automated response and paste it over here here i will say thanks for the message the demo instance is being stopped and then we will say check your email for more information okay now once you configure this uh, keyword click on save 
Now here we have successfully configured all the services that is required to basically automate certain tasks as per this architecture diagram or as per this flow. Now as a next step, I'm going to send an SMS from my phone number to this number that I have over here. That is plus one eight one nine. Okay. So on this number, I'm going to send an SMS and that SMS should be able to start this EC2 instance and it should also send me a notification, an email notification with the public DNS or the public URL which I can access to basically demo certain application. Okay, so let me send an SMS from my phone. So I'm going to open the screen. And now I have sent the SMS successfully and I have also received the automated response. Now as a next step, we are going to have a look at the EC2 instance. So now it should be in the running or the pending state. So let me reload this. So now as you can see, it's in the pending state. So now let's wait for the instance to be in running state. So now as you can see here, we have this demo instance in the running state and here we have the public IPv4 DNS. And now I should also receive the email notification along with this public IPv4 DNS. So let's check my email. So now as you can see on my screen here, I have received this information saying demo instance is running. Okay. And here I have this body saying, hello team, the demo instance is running at particular uh, IP address. Okay. And now if I click on this URL, you should be able to or I should be able to see the nginx server running on that EC2 instance right so here in my case I have ran the nginx uh, server but you can have any other application that is running for the demo purpose okay now let's say I have demoed this application to the potential client and now I want to stop this EC2 instance so again I am going to send an sms saying stop under school demo okay and this should be able to stop this EC2 instance and it should also be able to notify me that the instance is stopped. Okay, so let me send the SMS again. Now, since I have sent a message from my phone number saying stop underscore demo. Now, if I look at the EC2 instance over here and refresh it, then I should be able to see that instance state is in stopped or the stopping state. Right, as you can see, it's in stopping state and it will be stopped in some time. Okay, so as you can see, now it's in stop state. Now, apart from this, I should also receive the email notification. So let's have a look at that. Now, here, as you can see on my screen, I have received this email saying demo instance stopped, and the body says, Hello team, the demo instance is stopped. Thanks from SRCE CDE. Okay, and here, as you can see, the instance has stopped already. So, guys, uh, this is how you can automate certain things. So, this was just an example to start and stop the uh, demo or dummy EC2 instance based on the requirement right basically on demand but apart from uh, this kind of automation you can automate almost anything you want so guys i hope you find this video helpful so that's all i wanted to cover as a part of this video until that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.